So today we're going to be speed running through Duck Life 3, which I feel like is going to be a pretty good game because I mean, just look at these abominations. The storyline is a farmer invented genetically modified ducks and I don't know how this is okay, but I guess we might as well use them for racing. So we get to choose what kind of duck we want to use. And for this one, I'm going to choose the athletic type. That's just because its stats are pretty good. And at the end, I think it looks the weirdest. So of course I'm going to pick that one. So in this game, there are three different leagues. We start an amateur, go to professional. So we can start our timer right here. And then first of all, it's time to go to the running training. The running training is pretty similar to the other ones, but they did make a couple of improvements. First of all, there are different kinds of balls like that one that came from the top. And as you go faster, the balls get bouncier and bouncier. There are also tennis balls like that one, which this is a really awkward position. I don't know how I made it out of that. And another really nice thing is if you jump on a ball and hit the top of it, then you won't die. Originally in Duck Life, that would just kill you, which made this game a lot harder than it needed to be. So honestly, I really like the changes they made to the running section. Okay, come on. I don't know how I'm doing this. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> what is going on, duck? You got this. Just keep going. Come on. If I can get a really good run to start out with, this is going to be a very good duck life run. Much better than I thought. Okay, well, eventually we did get hit, but that was a pretty good run, I'd say. We only have to get up to 31 running on this first section, which is a nice thing about choosing the athletic duck because running is definitely one of the things that takes the longest amount of time. So I don't know the exact point value I need. I think we're just going to go until I die and hope it's around then. Better to have more experience than less experience, especially in a game as intense as Duck Life. And we made it to 30 when we needed 31. It even says in the notes that 30 can work, but you probably shouldn't do it because it can also just make you lose. There's a little bit of RNG incorporated with 30, but this should be good now. We can go on to training and now it's time for flying. Flying, they changed a little bit because now they added these purple pellets, which basically will speed you up in the air. One starting thing is you can always get one right there. As long as you're holding up right at the beginning, you're always gonna get a first purple pellet and then the other ones are kind of just randomly scattered throughout. But I'm definitely happy that they added those because it makes this game a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more fun, especially because for this mini game, we have to get up to 50. So might as well make it a tiny bit faster. Honestly, there's not much more I can add to the flying now. It's pretty much just like the flying in the other games. But like all the other mini games, as you go up in leagues, it does become a little bit different. So I'm excited for that. Okay, with one more flight, we should be good. And then we can move on to climbing. All right, level 50, nice and easy. Now we can get on to climbing, which is definitely my favorite mini game to do, but it's also the hardest one in my opinion. It starts out nice and easy like this, but don't worry, it's gonna get a lot faster. I'd say the hardest thing about it is it's just a lot of RNG, and sometimes it feels like you can't really react to it, and you kind of just got unlucky, which hey, I guess I'm speedrunning duck life, so what else am I asking for? Around this point is when you really have to start concentrating up and losing the run. I guess. <laughs> we want to use the least amount of cycles as possible because every time we have to do another cycle, it slows us down a bit. Okay, Doc, wow. <laughs> My guy is really going. We're not getting the greatest RNG in the world, but for some reason it's working right now. As you do more and more climbing, you kind of get used to how the layout works. It's not completely random. It's just mostly random. Okay, I only need to go up this a little bit more and that was embarrassing that I tried to make that jump. But we should be good here, I believe. And then the final one we have to do is swimming. Swimming, I'm gonna be honest, they really haven't changed it all from the other games, except they added this duck. So, you know, that's a nice guy. He's just swimming against us. Hey, look, there's another one. How you doing, dude? And this is the one out of all of them that you wanna one cycle the most. If you can one cycle the swimming, then it speeds up your run so much. I'm probably not gonna get the one cycle, but at the very least, I'm gonna try to go as far as possible. I wish there was more to say about swimming, but <laughs> that's pretty much it. You guys have already seen me do this two times in two different videos, except what just happened to my duck. And that was also a little embarrassing for just losing all that time, but whatever, we're gonna keep going with the run. It hasn't been too bad yet. I always think you can jump over those sailboats and I always end up dying because of it. I believe to get to level 50 on this one, you need a total of 50K. So if we could get a nice and long run, at least to 30K on this one, we'll be set in a very good position. Oh, and it's starting to do that stuff. Gotta love the glitch in duck life where it just gives you like an extra jump against your will. <laughs> Those are interesting. Okay, this has been a really good run. Why couldn't this have been my first cycle? Why did this have to be my second cycle? And okay, the game is like destroying me. Whatever, we're up to 44. We only need a little bit more. Once you get fast enough, you really lose control of just everything. But we'll say there is good. Now we can go ahead, eat some nice seed, and we have to get our energy level up to level 18. It's kind of funny that you only need to get that up to level 18 for the entire run. But hey, it is what it is. And time for the race. This is kind of just sad for the other ducks. I mean, it isn't extremely sad, but <laughs> yeah. 
Good try, guys. But how these races work is there are three races in the quarterfinals and three races in the finals. And then, of course, there are three different leagues. So a total of 18 different races for this entire segment. And I mean, most of them aren't really going to be a trouble. We already know what values we have to get our levels up to. So yeah, we kind of just decimate the competition. They can try their best, though. I applaud them for it. It's just not really going to work out. Now we have at least some better competition. It's just still not even really that bad. I mean, these guys are kind of keeping track with me. It isn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but these definitely are some sad races. I mean, you just know your duck's gonna win and the other ducks can try, but at least it's not super sad races like it is in Duck Life 2. All right, come on, little duck. You can do it. I'm really not too worried. This is actually an interesting race because the purple guy does get ahead of us, but then he forgets he's really slow on everything else. So we can just get right back up there. Okay, he's actually pretty good at climbing too. Yellow Duck, you gotta hurry up a tiny bit, all right, man? I think we're gonna be, oh, yeah, we're okay. For a second, I was worried, maybe, okay, I'm a little bit more worried now. I think we win this on the swimming though, yeah. Okay, I don't even know why I was worried at all. Anyway, now we evolve into that abomination. <laughs> Time to train. So for these trainings, we get shot out of a cannon and now we're going in between buildings. You'll see that they added something where you have to go in between two buildings. And of course, we're only gonna fly as far as we need to. Once we start slowing down, it's just time to dive bomb into the city. I wonder if people are just hanging out in the city and then they just see this gigantic bird dive bomb onto the cement. Oh God, that would be a scary sight. Especially if you don't know about the bird mutation, which I'm not sure if it's government regulated. Um, I feel like this is definitely not legal to make your duck look like this. But hey, who cares about morality when you can win duck races we should be good on flying now we have to get to running unfortunately for okay i don't want to go to the races what was that but unfortunately for this one we actually have to get up to level 100 on running but you can see they changed the running a lot i mean i guess not too much but they added some stuff and i guess they also added my death now they have cliffs so i mean that's pretty cool and okay can i please just do a right run this is probably the most cursed image i've ever seen my duck just waddling by. This guy is seriously something you see in your nightmares. I don't know what the people in the city are thinking right now. And I hate these bouncing balls. They literally keep going in the worst directions. I never know if I should jump or stay under them. Usually it's safe to stay under them, but for some reason they just keep destroying me when I try to do that. There we go. Come on, duck. You got this. Just go a little bit farther. And there we go. We made it to level 100 and accidentally restarted. That was kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, now we got climbing, which now we're climbing in between buildings. For this one, we only have to get up to around 90 climbing, but this climbing is a lot more awkward because of all the obstacles and things like that. And something else that's awkward is just how our duck is climbing in general. <laughs> this is such a cursed image, but I guess that's what this game is. So for these climbing sections, I just try to go as far as possible. I mean, it's the same thing as always, but then you get RNG like that and it ruins that entire climbing section. Hooray. I really am curious if like the best duck life players can just deal with that and not even worry about it. Like I'd say I'm a pretty moderate duck life player at this game. I've gotten pretty good at these games. Okay, whoa. <laughs> I almost was able to save my own mistake and then everything else happened. I am happy that we don't have to go all the way on climbing because like I've said before, climbing is definitely the one that takes the longest out of the bunch, which I don't completely mind because it is my favorite, but I do mind because I mean, I'm trying to do a speed run here. Come on, bud, you got this. Just go enough to get up to level 90. That's all I need. 88. That's a little bit too low, dude. Oh my God, how are we surviving this? I am almost off the screen, but there we go. That is good enough. We can finish out with swimming and then get done with this little area. For the last swimming, we do want to get up to level 100. So that is kind of unfortunate, especially when I hit those spikes because I just didn't press down soon enough. But at least we get to see this cursed imagery of this guy paddling his legs. I don't even know if I can call this a duck anymore. It just looks like a green person with a beak. Yeah, swimming changes a little bit differently. As you can see, they add a couple more obstacles. And of course, I get the glitch to take me out right there. But like I said, it's not too different. There is a little bit of changes, but just wait until we get to the final swimming section. You have to wonder, did someone set this up as a training thing or are there just a bunch of boats, spikes, and like submarines all around the place? But you get to see the other abominations of birds, at least a little bit. They're a little bit clumped up now, but we'll be able to see their distinctive features in a bit. And yeah, it's the quarterfinals, so it's kind of just a sad race. It's kind of funny how you can just upgrade your duck as much as you want and then these quarterfinals are just a breeze. I mean, I kind of feel bad for the other birds, 
but it's kind of hilarious how badly they're losing. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Are they even going to finish this race? Come on, man. You got this. Are, are, are you the only, what, where are the other two? And now we get to actually see the beauty of all the other birds. You can see there's a strength one, there's the flight one, and there's the swimming one. And they all have their own different distinct colors. I mean, it's kind of cool how they did this game. They did make it a lot more cursed, but I mean, at the very least, it's kind of visually appealing. Okay, I'm not sure if I would say visually appealing. It's visually different. I can give it that. And this strength guy is really trying to catch up to us. Too bad he doesn't realize that I'm just better than him. So sorry about that, man. Okay, well, that was the races for those. We're going to evolve one more time and we become the Chad. And now we're on to our last few missions. So the flight has become a little different because now they have the ones you have to go in between and the ones you have to avoid. So they kind of just combine the other two flights together to make it its own thing, I guess, which makes it a pretty interesting challenge because you actually have to pay attention to the symbols. You used to be able to just ignore them, but now you have to make sure that you're actually doing the right way. Look at my bird try to flap his wings, though. It just looks so awkward. Am I the only one thinking this? Am I the only one thinking his long slender body doesn't fit with his tiny wings he has? Maybe I'm just crazy and don't understand duck evolution, but you know, it's just kind of an interesting tidbit. But there we go. Flying is done. We can go on to running and they really decide to change around running. So instead of things coming at you, now you're just running so fast and things are just stationary. So you can see we have to jump over everything. If we hit anything, we die. So like that ball, they're just sitting there. They're not even rolling towards me anymore. I've just gone so fast that I will brutally injure myself if I even hit a thing that's standing still. Okay, well, that was a pretty good run. That wasn't the worst in the world. And for this one, we want to get up to 146 at least. Okay, we are going so fast. When I get to this point, I kind of just can't even pay attention to my bird anymore. I have to look at the other half of the screen just so I can be able to react. Because this running section gets just so much faster. I enjoy it a lot more than the other ones, though. Also, the scenery in this game is really nice. I mean, it's kind of just the same couple trees repeated over and over again, but they look pretty nice, I guess. I get so scared when we get up to this point because it's like, you have no time to react. You just have to hope you press jump at the right time and we barely don't have the amount of levels we need. We'll do one more run and I think we should be good with that. I'll just try to go as far as I can. Okay, come on, well, 149 is good. We can go on to training and now it's time for climbing where our incentive for climbing now is there is a pit of lava that is chasing after us. Yeah, this used to just be a fun climbing game where, you know, you had to climb a certain amount. Now, if we fail at climbing, we die. You're also able to move up and down now instead of just having to go left and right, which I don't really know why they added because what I do is I just constantly hold up. But I mean, if you want to get closer to the lava, you can move down, but I don't see why you'd want to do that. I'm not going to lie. This bird has way more curves than I do. I would not want to train in these conditions but I guess that's why I'm also not the world champion at being a duck. So I can't really say anything in total, but what's okay. I don't know how I survived that. I made so many mistakes in that little short amount of time. It was bad. If I keep going with this, we might be able to get a pretty good time. Okay, dude, let's go. Oh, you, your feet were in there. His feet were in the lava right there. That was terrifying. The nice thing about this climbing section also is we only need to get up to 138. Climbing is the hardest one to increase at, so definitely a good thing when we have to do less. And I am literally getting burned alive, but for some reason my bird is surviving. Oh, my nerves are like coming out so hard right now. I just want my bird to go faster, but everything is, keeps going wrong. And I feel like we should just give up at some point. I guess we'll stop there. 136, uh, we need 138, you're kidding me. This is kind of a sad climbing section now. I'm gonna go up a bit. I don't know how much we really have to. I might be losing time as we speak, but right there should be good, 141. And now we can finish off with the swimming, which yeah, as I said, it's changed a lot. This is like the biggest change I think they made to this game at all. Everything else, you know, it was different, but it was the same general concept. This is just a completely different swimming section. I guess my duck has also grown gills or something because he just doesn't need to breathe. This section is interesting because you can only go up in it. Other than that, there's like a really strong force that pulls you down and it kind of feels uncomfortable. I think it might've been better if they let you go up and down instead of having the force that makes you go down. But I mean, it works out, I guess. And we're actually getting a pretty good run right now but of course when I say that this is the time when I'm gonna die so why do I keep mentioning when I'm doing well but it doesn't matter because we still keep going okay I'm really impressed with myself right now the nice thing about this is the speed doesn't increase at all we kind of just swim at five miles per hour and keep going I don't even know if you can call this swimming it's more of just like tactically floating also I haven't mentioned it lately but how cursed is this image of this duck <laughs> look at his 
his feet. Why does the duck have feet like that, dude? Come on. I don't mean to shame this poor duck, but I guess that's exactly what I'm doing. I don't know again when I need to end this. I guess we'll try here. And we made it to 150. That's actually a really good thing I did. I think we might be able to get the sub 40 minute. When I came into this run, I was not expecting something that fast at all. So I'd be really happy with that. And you can see the other ducks, you know, it's quarterfinals. They're trying their best. It's not gonna work out for them. Also, your camera just goes up and down at the end of every single race for some reason. We're gonna see it at the end of this race too, which is just an interesting feature. Okay, ducks, why are you even trying? Why are the other ducks even trying in this race? This just isn't fair. But you can see, why does the camera do that? What is causing that? And then of course we have our final quarterfinal race which we start out with flying, so it isn't too bad for the other ducks just yet, but then we get to the running section and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you. This is kind of an awkward situation that's happening. I'm just gonna fly my way to the end and hopefully you guys will come by. Okay, they weren't too bad. They weren't too slow that time. Now we can move on to the final races, which zooms you out a lot, which is pretty interesting. And these ones are actually pretty good. I mean, we completely, what was that? That was so, uh, I did not even recognize that was the animation before. <laughs> I did not know that was coming up. Um, I'm just going to try to blur whatever that was from my memory now, because I don't think I ever want to see it. Also, that was a very close one, but it doesn't really matter. We won anyway. I'm still caught up about that mission of how that happened. <laughs> Okay, whatever. We're just gonna try to ignore my nightmares and whatever feelings that might cause. And instead, we're just gonna win this entire race. Say goodbye to the other people. I guess they're trying their best, but yeah, it really isn't even a competition. But finally, because we won the finals, we get to the place where it actually is a competition where that happens. And now we have to fight an army of domos. So you can see this game is kind of dated, but we have to shoot these domos, otherwise they're gonna slow us down. And yeah, this is the game I'm playing right now. I bet you weren't expecting that. I almost missed that domo. I almost didn't shoot him to death and that would have been really bad. But if we don't hit a single one of these domos, then we're pretty much just gonna lose the race because for some reason the other guy doesn't get hurt by it. And yeah, I have no idea why they decided to add this part in particular in, but I mean, it works out. We won the race and that is our time. We now get to stand on a pile of this guy and all these domos. Oh God, this is a terrifying image. But if we look down the leaderboard, we can see we're now tied for 22nd place. So honestly, not the worst time in the world, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also, I do plenty of flash game speed runs and speed runs in general on this channel. So if you're interested in that at all, subscribe to the channel. But enough shilling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.